All right, before we got cut off, I was saying, you'll notice that the VPI we've calculated now, remember we're busy calculating, and the VPI, not the VPI, <laughs> we're busy calculating our tangent grade, and we just calculated our tangent grade right at the VPI, which is the purple line over here, and we got a value of 2 3.5, and I said, in order to check your accuracy, the value you calculate at your VPI and at your final level at C should correspond with the ones you're given. And the VPI level is 223.5, which means we are, in fact, on the right track. Okay, so back to the last little bit of our calculations. Of course, the calculator closed. Ugh. But anyway, remember that our formula is your previous tangent level plus your grade applicable grade times your change interval divided by 100 okay and you can carry out the rest of your calculations in manner so we have 223.5 plus open your bracket and our grade after the vpi was one point no, 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 no. 1.1428571413. You don't have to use the whole number. I'm just using the entire one. And remember, we're now at the VPI, which is 410. The distance from 410 to 430 is 20. So your change interval will be 20, won't be 30 divided by 100 then the next number i get is 223. point where am i vpi 223.73 okay then remember we keep using our previous answer so what you can do just get back to the point where you had added it manually and just say answer but pay attention to the change distance so now we're moving from 430 to 460 and our interval distance is 30. So you're going to go all the way back there and make it 30. Then it becomes 224.07. Then now we are at 460. We have the end of the vertical curve right after. So from 460 to 470, your interval becomes 10. So you don't need to change that answer part anymore, but you do need to change this interval distance. It becomes 10. Then we have 224.19. Do I? Why do I feel like I'm cooking wrong stuff? <laughs> yes, 224.19. Then from your end of the vertical curve to the next one is 470 to 490. Our interval now becomes 20 again. Make it 20. 224.41, that's our next one. Then from 490 to 520, it's back to standard programming. Our interval is 30 again. Change it here, make it 30. We have 224.76. Then from 520 to 550, fingers crossed that we have the final road level that we are given. It's still 30, sorry, I don't know why I'm changing that. 225.1 and... It is the final road level at C. So this tells us our tangent grade calculations are in fact correct. Then um, the values that we've been calculating, remember we've essentially been calculating, calculating and writing them down. I hope you were writing them down. Then you can just come and plug them all here to the corresponding table or row. Then next we are gonna go into our offset calculations so offset will only be applicable between the red line and the blue line so that's essentially between the beginning of a vertical curve and the end of your vertical curve okay but your offset at the red line or at the bvc is zero the offset at your evc will also be zero we're trying to find one two three four five values okay in the next video we're gonna get into that i'm just gonna off screen um edit the tangent grades and then we'll be back